Okay, recording types. The most common used one is continuous, continuously, continuously. So this is our 24 by 7. This means that once it's connected, it will record all the time, all the time, non-stop until it's recycled. So you guys know the process. Uh, so this is a mode. Another mode is by event. And when we say event, we, this, we, we can explode here in lots of type of events. We have uh, motion detection. So the standard motion detection will identify um, a group of pixels changing from the scene from the static scene that it's uh, pre-analyzed from the camera. So when it detects this group of pixels moving around the scene, it will raise uh, an event. And then with this event, you can trigger a recording. And you can trigger a recording in a specific amount of seconds or minutes, depending on your model, recorder model. Uh, this type of event was used for several years. But the problem with the motion detection, the standard motion detection, is the number of false alarms, false events, because it can be triggered by a, a, a tree moving its leaves, um, the, the shadows, you know, shadows moving around the scene, uh, light changes, you know, have like a sunny day and a cloud appears and, and to be a little bit darker can trigger the motion. So uh, we have new ways to um, to detect motion type of events, and it's the smart motion detection. So this type of event, it's uh, powered by AI normally, and it will detect person, car, or any other object. You can have um, uh, a motion detection, detecting uh, other type of objects as well. But normally we use person and cars for the general uh, monitoring systems. So if a person enters in the scene, if a person leaves the scene, if a car passes by the uh, like a street in a specific time of the day or in the night, it will trigger a, a recording as well. At the temper, temper. This, this temper event is if a camera is uh, so if someone put like a, a flashlight to the camera or try to spray something, block the image. So this analytic can trigger a recording, of course, not in the camera that is suffering the, the, the attack, but you can have other cameras that uh, are pointing. So let's assume we have this camera here and then we have this camera here that and that is not in the schedule to record this time. But if some burglar goes here and and, uh, and block the view of this camera, you can trigger this camera to start recording, you know, and, and capture who, who is doing this. So it's another type of event. We have other ones like intrusion detection. You can uh, have the scene here and you can draw a line or uh, a shape. That is, so if someone uh, pass through this shape or pass through this line, it to trigger as a, a intrusion detection. It, it can call uh, as a fence alarm as well, depending on the manufacturer. You can have different ways to, to call this type of event. We have people counting events that can be uh, a trigger for recording as well. So cameras pointing straight down to, through a, a, an entrance of a store or any other area. And, and can count, count heads, basically, or other cameras that can count people passing through a line as well. So this type of events can be used to trigger a recording. Cars, let's try to draw here, car. So we can have like a speed detection on uh, illegal U-turn, on uh, illegal parking. We have different type of events related to, to cars as well, that could be triggering uh, a recording. Okay, and the last part is alarm. We have, uh, we saw this in the other class, 
We have uh, the alarms in the cameras, we have the alarms in the NVRs, uh, so we have the alarms input and outputs. So in this case, it will be using the alarm inputs on the devices, so or in the cameras or in the recorder, and then it, this can trigger a uh, recording. So let's assume a very low type of integration, low level type of integration with an intrusion system, an intrusion panel. Uh, the, if the intrusion panel is alarmed, it can uh, close a, a contact and this contact is connected to the NVR input 1, for example, and then it will start to record uh, a specific region. So if close another um, input, it will start to record another region from on the installation. So we can do this type of uh, triggers to start the recording. Okay.